So, so to can you break down the basics for beginners? How to read? I'm sure all listeners are looking at their hands now. So, so maybe go one finger at a time. Can I, or what are can I the recommend basics? my book? Um, yes. and you can get it on Kindle. Uh, okay. Everyday Palmistry. It's palmistry mm-hmm. for not for palmists, but for anybody who uses because we use our hands all the time, and we yes. see people's hands, and it's an easy way to connect to people. I would have to say, be be very careful to look, you before you get to know the lines. Think of the shapes of the hands. Yeah, the squarer the hand, the more grounded and solid a person is. So the very bottom of the hand is your basis. What? Where are you? You know, what's the fundaments? Is it square? When means you, that you're basically logical and grounded. Is it quite rounded? Is the foundations of your life more sociable and connected? Then we look at the top of your hand. How are you beginning? How does your psyche, you think of the palm of your hand as you and your soul and your psyche. Your fingers are how you express that. So you might see a very square palm, someone who's fundamentally concrete and solid and real and here with very sociable rounded fingertips. So they express themselves very with, you know, grace and gentleness and sociability. Very long hand, long fingers are more philosophical. It's like imagining, thinking very carefully how they express themselves. If you're very wide fingers, very solid fingers, I mean, they express themselves concretely, practically, Mm -hmm muscularly in the world yeah so you'll see Uh, that you know the ones we see with very long can you hold your hands up for me yeah I I tend to have I guess you have thinner longer Mm -hmm. you've got the very kind of intuitive you got strong thumbs though you've got I have a hitchhiker's thumb too yeah what does that mean well that you know strong willpower but quite flexible you know I would say you have good common sense which is the lower phalange and a lot of willpower but you're fairly flexible about it. And you have these long and the pointy fingertips is the unusual sensitivity. You're aware of details. You know how to express little things. You take in, fundam- you know, you take in with delicacy and grace. You can get overwhelmed if it's too loud and busy and crazy, but you're very aware of the subtleties. So that long that you, you want to put someone on detail work with pointy fingers or ask them how they feel or ask yeah. them to assess a situation. You rarely see um, surgeons with short, fat fingers. Ah, you know, so the that, surgeons like, usually have slender fingers. Slender, I, I long, and well. often either pointed or uh, fairly squared off because they're... So that means detail-oriented. They're detail-oriented and they have a more practical side to it. I see. Yeah. And then like thicker, stubbier you fingers put means... Your fingers together, hold them up with your fingers together. You see, I can see right through the bottom half of your fingers. Money isn't yes. what drives you. Ah. Uh, but you see that it's not that you don't like money, but money isn't uh, isn't what drives you. You could put You're looking at your this hands, this hole. Right? Yeah. Okay. I would could put coins in your hand and they would go through. But the knuckles <laughs> yeah. are but you have a very strong middle phalange. Like the the middle the, the, there's the bottom phalange which is the material world, the middle okay. phalange is the social professional world. And there's the kind of mental expressive is the top. You have a good, strong middle section to your fingers from what I can okay. see. And that means you have a good profession. And here you are, a wonderful uh, podcaster, doing good work uh, in the world. When you hold yeah. your hands up, you can also see that it's very sociable in its expression, the top of your palm. But the bottom of your palm is quite square. Mm. So you have you know, a lot going on in you, even big palms. And uh, but they're kind of hollow in the center, very sensitive. Um, But (laughs) underneath it all, you have a, a pretty good sense of practicality and follow through.